How's it going, you glorious demon hunter bastards? My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Pika Combat content here on the channel. Oh boy, you know, like I said in my last videos, I, this is something I was not expecting to ever come back to, but things have changed. We got a new character that's gonna be coming out, Peerless Legend Dante. Totally gonna be summoned for that. And there's some other stuff that has basically ended up happening that I like to get into a little bit of a conversation with you guys on. So without further ado, let's get into this. So to go ahead and basically be completely honest with you guys, there's a couple of people that has come to me since, you know, we started the live stream, we started some videos. It's like, oh man, you're coming back to Pika Combat, it's awesome. Hey, I need to fill you in some information and you know, you missed out and stuff like this. They sent me some clips of different things. One clip in particular I was given, I'm looking at, I was watching it at work today and I was just kind of like fabricasted all over it because I do have a little bit of a response towards it. And this is where, like, I made this the community posting that I said I was going to make a video about this. So let's go ahead. Let's pause the music in the background. Let me pull this up right here. This is a one minute clip that comes pretty much from the DMC POC official channels um, live stream. This is with Dante or Jason, the community manager. And this is a statement that they made. And this is where I think that. I want to rebut something in here, but let's go ahead and let's give it the time of day. Let's listen and I'll get my response after. More con dude, obviously we want more content. Like every single game can always use more content, but that doesn't make it so that you can just do whatever you want with the game and then just like, all right, I want today. I want this boss. And then the next day, all right, guys, we, we're releasing this boss. It doesn't work like that, bro. Like this game uh, is actually like owned by Capcom. I mean, I mean the IP is owned by Capcom. We develop it, but so anything we do has to go through an entire process. It doesn't just like it doesn't it doesn't just like all right today we're gonna we're gonna make this and then we just make it and then just there's no process whatsoever and just be done with it. All right, so from the excerpt that I got right here and from basically put the music back on from basically everything that I just gathered from that entire video you know he's talking like hey you know we don't you know people more content we, we can't just you know today you want this boss tomorrow you want that boss we just can't do that we have to get a green lit you know by Capcom because Capcom owns the IP and yet, you know, there's a process for everything. And you know, I completely 100% agree, you know, in that regards. The problem though that I have with this conversation, this, this, this video clip right here in particular, is the fact that what Dante is explaining right here, I'm 100% behind it if it wouldn't be that this game had over what? two three years of development that they've had multiple demonstrations they have multiple content uh, content that has been greenlit previously by capcom that i am pretty sure that capcom would be like yeah that's fine just go ahead and do that but we're not talking about content being in the shape of you know new hunters like another like another virgil we're not talking about content being more hunters we're not talking in general you know content being you know more bosses for the boss raid for co-op mode we're not talking about content for boss hunt we're not talking about like that generic type of 
content. We're talking about, you know, you got 14 chapters of a story that, yeah, even though the story is pretty much lackluster, it's a cult B horror film story, you haven't continued it. You haven't finished. You just gave a bunch of side stories. You haven't made, you know, the story mode replayable, you know, and give it like a harder mode or something. I like to use something as an example, and I'm going to open this up right here. Okay, so, and I think this is the best game to legitimately compare Peak of Combat against in terms of what we're talking about content. I believe that 100% Capcom is going to be on your ass, right? for quote unquote how the characters look how the bosses work how they look work all this good stuff and that is 100 percent going to be needing to be green lit 100 percent they're going to need to green light you know a possible crossover with something like street fighter you know on how the characters are just are just in general work in that game so give me one quick second we're gonna because i need to sign in real quick I don't want y'all to see that real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't want y'all to see my sign in real quick on this because that is private information. But let me sign into Soul Leveling Arise. And I I think that all honesty, if you haven't played Soul Leveling Arise, this is a good game to demonstrate really what peak of combat should be focusing on, in my personal opinion. I'm thinking in my mind, you know, when we're talking content, we're talking more about different elements of gameplay style that would force a player to want to come back to play the game, not do the same old thing over and over. You're basically, yes, you feed me a couple of treats. You know, you're giving me Peerless Legend Dante. You're giving me Trish. You're giving me different characters that might pique my interest to want to play it here on Wallet May Cry. But that's just, you know, the topping. That's just the sprinkles on top of the cake. Where's the actual filling? When this game first came out back in January, we all looked at the game and we we're like, okay, you know, this is this is really good for a first introduction. And hopefully, you know, I've stated it's back in January. In six months from now, you know, the game will hopefully have lots more content things to grind things to do so that way it takes you know more effort to do things when we look at a game like soul leveling arrives and i i just want to demonstrate this i've already demonstrated this before on the live stream but i'm going to use this video as a way of doing a comparison this game came out in march okay and this game is giving out several different types of events granted those events are some of the events are a little bit crap but it, the thing that gets to me about soul leveling arise in all honesty is the fact that we have a replayable story we have you know several different game modes is, is in this game in general Okay, I'm not sure why my character is moving that way. Give me a second here. I think I know why, honestly. Yeah, because we're on a controller. <laughs> That's why. All right, sorry about that. No, I want to show. We have game modes. Look what we got. We have a story mode that has a normal, a hard, that goes by chapter to where we can play, you know, a harder version of the story than we've played before. We have your gate system to where you can come here to grind out different types of materials that you can enter the gate. You know, you can play, you can play it, you can sweep it. You have chance to collect different things from it. You can buy additional keys with actual gems if you want to continue playing it. You can go mining, you know, the entire gate structure, which I'm going to have to go do actually right in a second. I want to do this real quick. All right, cool. So you have, you know, instance dungeon, 
where you know Jinwoo can enter and create specifically for his own growth despite you know this where you come here to get different artifacts you know that helps build up your character you know something like this would be great for hell cards you know to get better hell cards or something to have different types of port like do demon portals something else to that effect you have right here encore missions where you could test out you know just your hunters and you got different tiers that you can go through you have a hunter archive which really is just a basically a fucking story mode to unlock more gems and everything but you get a story you know a side story for each character in particular you have a battles of trials which is another thing right here another grind fest to get different materials the game this game is offering you know season two battlefield time which is currently in progress how long can you fight against this kind of like what we have for uh already with boss hunt in here you know but it's here you have power destruction hmm. which i haven't even gone into this is the first time i'm even looking at it because i just unlocked it regarding the gate we went to so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip this i didn't see this this is my bad but this is something I just unlocked. It's another game mode. After getting, after beating chapter 10, uh, side stories. I got full-fledged cutscenes. I got full-fledged content. This game provide. this game feels like a console game. This is what DMC POC should feel like. In Power Destruction, you complete the ranking during the limited season. You know, with time left, you have one hour to time left. Each season changes the archive, new high score, which your rank is. And when you're done, properly mode. So kind of like a boss, like kind of like a boss raid or boss rush mode, I guess. I don't know. I would have to take a look at it later. You know, I'm not looking at it right now. Second. But what I'm saying is, is that we're talking content. We're not talking, oh, let's add another fucking boss to boss raid. Let's add, you know, Trish to the game. Another character that Capcom has a green lit. You have from Pika Combat 1.1, you have 1.4, 2.0. You have different already done established elements that is already been created for the game that should be able to be poured into this game to help with additional content you should be able to finish the story mode or give us more chapters to the story i'm sure you got more than 14 already done if you don't have already if you only did up to 14 and you stopped the story and you just let it be because okay no one liked the story well you know maybe there is somebody who liked the story you know just fucking finish it give it to us because in all fucking honesty it's content it's something that makes the players want to come back and spend their stamina to go ahead and do you should have different events that is not marketed to predatory the situation predatory um I don't know if that's the wording I want to use, but I'm going to use it. Predatory fucking marketing to go ahead and try to make people use their fucking credit card to buy gems. Like a fucking gem crit right here. I got to spend 99 cents to get 300 fucking gems. So many events I've done in the past. You actually have to, you know, you could do some of them, get some free gems. But if you want to continue it, you actually, in order to get this skin or do this, you actually have to purchase something in order to, to be able to continue onwards why don't we have events for you know that everybody gets this stuff here free to play you can unlock this skin you can unlock this weapon you can get this hell card that is a special hell card something all this stuff that you already have developed why isn't there other content i don't think capcom gives two flying fucks what events you put in the game they give two flying fucks of how that character is going to be used in the game they want to make sure you have a respect for the character, for their IP. They don't give a fuck if you're going to make a whole new looting system, you know, another fucking lu a lucky, a, a different version, like, uh, let's, let's go to benefits here. Like a different version of Lucky Roulette where you actually got to play the fucking game. Like, look, Lucky Roulette. I have to fucking spend fucking gems. Why don't I have ability to go ahead and daily work on tokens, you know, stuff like this. Different things to entice new players, old players, and people that you want to return to the game to actually play the game. I'm not trying to be a dick. 
I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at this objectively. I really am trying to look at this objectively to a certain degree here. I really feel like that statement is a very plain, political, correct, we're trying to be at no fault, you know, even though it is our fault statement. There's lots and lots of criticisms about this game. Okay, and I'm gonna just go ahead, and I'm gonna pull up something really quickly because I actually create, I actually went go do some research and I went go actually ask a couple of questions to several people from the peak of, ser uh, the peak of com uh, combat server about, you know, what's some pros and what's some cons of the game. Let me pull this up. Okay, let me pull this up, pull this on my tablet, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go through this. Now, I'm not gonna divulge who told me anything because the reason being is I do believe in privacy. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do some of the praises first to showcase that, you know, there is some good elements in the game. A lot of people that we would discuss is that the visual and design element of the game, despite, you know, some of the gameplay issues falling through the floor and stuff like this, the game has been highly praised by a lot of people I've talked to, you know, for, you know, the, the quality of the animations, even though they're not as faithful as 1.4 of people who do not know about, they do feel like it does capture Del May Cry's combat system. It is great for a mobile game. Perfect. They do like, you know, the variety of different character versions of the characters is like, and for example, right here, you have, you know, Nomadic, nom uh, you have Count Thunder of uh, Virgil, you have Devil Bringer Nero, you have classic Demon Hunter Dante, but you also have Royal Guards. They like the variety. I agree. I like the variety of different characters and different elements. Some of the modes they did praise, you know, to a certain degree that, you know, like Bloody Palace and stuff like this does offer some more challenges. They do agree that, you know, though at the same point in time, uh, the gameplay is monotonous. Many users, I will say, feel like the gameplay is lacking a, quite a bit of depth and variety. The combat system is very simplified, which, come on, it is a mobile game. It is going to have to be simplified. I'll defend y'all there. But we're focusing on repetitive button mashing that needs more... That needs more filling. And the way you feel that is not by changing the characters. You change that... If you're going to leave the system like it is, you change it by fixing the events, making different things that works in this. Another con that people have, like we discussed, is the predatorial monetization of this game. The game is heavily criticized because of how high the fucking microtransaction system is in this. The gacha model it uses often requires, you know, players to spend lots of money just to actually progress. Free to play players can play this, but you're going to be really far behind compared to someone who pays money. And we're not just talking about the fucking whales either. We're talking that you need to spend money in some of these things to get, you know, if you really want the skin, you're going to have to spend money. And it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be a true disadvantage to, you know, the unwilling that does, that want, does not want to spend in this game. The story, the characters do lack, you know, here's another criticism that does lack, you know, depth. But like I stated before, I consider the story in this and I consider even the character story in this more or less, you know, a, a B rang horror film. It is just what it is. I mean, we still got, you know, got technical issues in this game. That is to a certain degree, you know, the controls in this game does not function sometimes properly. They still haven't fixed that. Like I still get stuck with my control stick and have to wiggle the stick and everything else just to get it working again. There is a lot of frustration in this game. I mean, to us with the microtransactions everything else there's a lot of frustrations that still has not been relatively fixed and in six months i would feel that this game should have amped itself some more i can tell you the truth right now about soul leveling i've put money in soul leveling i'm not afraid to say it i put money in soul leveling you know how much money i put into this i actually went to my bank account and I actually look 80 bucks I put $80 in this game. And you know what's funny? 
in this game I haven't put money into drawing characters the game allows me to come here create my own banner of characters in here that I would want or weapons to try to draw for I get it for more than 100 days as you can see we have you know the special banner character that comes out that we can go for which is a little bit more harder to attain but if you take a look at you know missions and stuff like this this game practically shoves tickets down your fucking throat challenges you complete each of these fucking challenges which you don't have to pay money for boom you get 10 tickets every single thing right here it just throws this at you story mode you complete a story mode you can have a possibility of getting four fucking tickets from each chapter prime example you clear to get you clear the story mode you get two you complete all 18 missions you get another two you get 50 gems that you could use to buy tickets so to a free-to-play person this game offers you an abundance more and pay to win is not really a factor in this game this is what by now i feel like peak of combat should be it should be a game that is filled with content that is filled to where every single day i can come in here and i can just do something and i'm not limited to stamina i'm not limited just to an online multiplayer fashion that i got different modes that actually help me to develop something to get something that's a good reward not just a leaderboard and that's what i feel like in all honesty a lot of the problem in this game is is that i don't care about half this shit because yeah i get you know these rewards here that's great i get you know some rewards here that's great i can grind this out a little bit but in all honesty it all comes down to one facet which is a fucking leaderboard where are you on the hunter rankings where are you at in here you know i'm fucking all the way down 28 like i like i really don't care I, I don't honestly care where I'm leveled up at because this does not matter. That's not the root problem. I don't think that they understand when we say we want more content, we're not talking about additional bosses. We're not talking about, you know, characters. Oh, the game's too easy. We need to make it harder before we can look at content. No, any fucking Del May Cry game that was fucking hard. And all everything in the beginning of Del May Cry, one through fucking five, and even the fucking stupid fucking reboot DMC was hard in the fucking beginning. But once you leveled up your character, it became fucking easy as shit. And then at that point in time, it didn't become about being a fucking Dark Souls like fucking game being hard. It became about how fucking flashy and how much fucking damage and how much fucking long I can make this combo be and fucking feel cool about it. That's what the fuck it was about. And this right here, this video, I know is going to go way over time that I want it to be, but it is just a general rent video that's also an opinionated fucking video to explain that what you're stating here, that, you know, there's a process of things. I understand the process, but where was that fucking process at from fucking January to fucking now? Where is the actual content? Where is the fucking reward? that's with this game that does not require money cash card make my wallet fucking cry where is you know the ability to get different things that makes these characters better why do i not have the ability to have a different event like the guild mode in here for example the guild's fucking uh shit uh what was it? not the missions the uh crap i forgot where it's at because it's been so long is it an event yeah, under a vid, Purgatory. Why don't we have more stuff like Purgatory that, you know, instead of that we could buy additional hell weapons? Why is this right here, when I looked at this, why does this still feel like it's the same old bullshit? 
you know wavering waves solo leveling has multiple things that on all honesty it seems a little bit too much there to actually do in a day that's the good thing about it is that you have so much you can actually do you can pick days i'm just gonna work on this and then tomorrow i'm gonna work on this and then the next day i'm gonna work this and Dale may cry i could be done in less than 15 minutes and then throw the game aside and i'm done that's my dailies everything else what we're asking for is actual content, story. We're asking for more modes, things that make it to where someone like me as a content creator can actually make content on that to a player that it actually makes it feel like their time is worth playing this because it is worth playing this game. If you just, you know, you never played Del McRae peak of combat before you're brand new. But if you're somebody who's been playing this from day one till now, the game's getting fucking stale when every other game is getting different updates and changing the way that they're doing things and they're improving on their mechanics. Hell, you got a fucking stage here with a fucking band shit. Why not give us a fucking, I, I don't know, just fucking be stupid here and give us an event of fucking playing the fucking drums back there with Dante singing. You know, I don't know, fucking do something that's not related to a monetary value. Just something that's stupid, fun, and we would enjoy. Try something. Don't, like I said, you should have get tons of different things that you have already produced from the last few years that has not been used that you can start implementing back into the game put in different weapons with elemental based uh, uh, things make it to where endless judgment virgil can have a fucking electric fucking katana you know make it to where you have a fucking uh a fire katana so that way he's not only physical but he's electric and physical he's ice and physical he's fucking fire and physical you know different things that would be you know stupid but would be pretty fun make it to where you give us new hell cards different things that help upgrade the character and make it to a better level give us content not sprinkles give us the filling make our bellies fat not sit there and being teased with fucking bullshit that's my that, that's my wording you can take my criticism however any way you want we are coming back to Del McCry Peak of Combat we're just gonna do it our fucking way like I'm just gonna do it my way in all honesty you come to the live streams you come to the videos we're gonna do it my way and fuck fuck however Neville Joy is because I mean I've been promised a content creator to be part of a content creator program I've been promised high resolution art files I've been promised calculations I've been promised you know an ability to work with a company to help promote this game and by alienating and here's another point for this and this goes to all my content creators that has dropped this game by alienating your content creators you have no one that's going to be able to defend this game and you're only going to get bad reviews at least if you work with your content creators to help promote communities to help you know give a fucking someone like Natharic, Nishu, someone, myself, I don't care like hey this is your own personal code that's gonna last for this long put in your videos you know hey we're gonna give you 24 hour access before anyone else on a character so that way you can showcase the character to add to the world and you get 24 hours to make a video make it good we have to approve it and you have to say it's sponsored by nebula joy stuff like this make it and give me an nda do this work with your content creators better yourselves work with your players give them fucking content make it to where it's not just monetary but content either make it to where it's free to play content that everybody can come in and enjoy the game Simple as that. Otherwise, yes, in fucking another couple of months, this game is population is going to completely fucking die because it doesn't matter if you fucking put in a fucking shirtless fucking Virgil for all the fucking ladies out there to go ahead and get moist over. They ain't going to fucking buy it because you know what? Every single DMC fan, the only reason why they're still continue playing pick a combat, let's be completely honest, is because DMC six is not out yet. But the moment DMC 6 from official Capcom builds it and they put it out, guess what? Everybody's dropping this for that fucking time period. Everybody's going to be playing fucking DMC 6 and they're going to totally forget about what the fuck this is. 
And that's not going to be the fault of anyone else but yourself because you did not listen to your community. You did not listen to your players. You did not listen to your content creators. You didn't listen to no one. And you just sat there pretending that you're doing something where in all honesty, you already had the content. You just never, you were just too lazy to do it. So that's all I got for you guys. Sorry, this video is 30 some minutes long, but if you got to the end point of this video and you agree with my comments, leave a comment down below. If you disagree with me, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Come to the fucking live streams when we do DMC Pika Combat and check out my Wavering Waves content and check out my future soul leveling content on this fucking channel because I will show you games that you may not be interested in Wavering Waves, for example, because hey, it's Genshin fucking impact to you. But I tell you what, if you actually Come to my live streams and come talk to me. I can show you that game is actually Metal Gear fucking Rising Revengeance. I can show you that game is actually more heavy combo based. And I can show you that game's got a fucking Endless Judgment Virgil that can actually has content behind it. 100%. All right. Take it easy. I'll catch you on the flip side.